We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We made our way up into an anchorage in Boynton Beach to hide from some winds. After cruising through the Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale area and seeing some big boats and homes along the way. The anchorage in Boynton Beach we called the Chocolate Hole because the water was brown and shallow, but we were safe from the winds. The good news, a park was close by with a dock so we could walk to the beach and enjoy a few good days on the beach while we were here. And finally the winds passed and we headed north once more up the ICW into the West Palm Anchorage right in front of the Kapok tree. We enjoyed exploring West Palm Beach and even walked a little over a mile to find a brewery we were interested in, Steam Horse Brewing. It was a great little stop with some great beers on tap. While we explored here, we could walk a full circle around Journey over both drawbridges and we did this several times. This walk also got us up close and personal with the Kapok tree. and took some great shots of journey from shore. We left West Palm and passed through Lake Worth and saw some unique boats before heading out the inlet to find that pretty blue water and up to Stewart and the St. Lucie Inlet to anchor in Peck Lake. Another turtle spotting before we enter the inlet, which is always a busy area. I wanted to anchor in Peck Lake because I had read so much about what a great anchorage, easy to shore, and the beach. I'm all about some beach. We did love the beach as it was very remote with few people because everyone must come by boat. But the anchorage is not desirable due to the fact it is not in a no-wake zone. Our boat was rearranged inside multiple times. Hated it. We only spent one night here, but we did see a shark, and of course, by the time we had a camera, the best shots had passed us by, as always. The next day, we left Peck Lake and headed back out the St. Lucie Inlet and up to enter again at Fort Pierce. It was another great day in the ocean. The Fort Pierce Inlet was busy on the water and on the beaches.
we passed through the Vera Beach area looking for an anchorage, but we just could not find a place that made us happy. So we kept going and finally was able to find enough water to anchor by the Wabasso Bridge just as the sun went down. Today we are headed to Cocoa Beach and we spotted another Endeavor trawler cat headed our way. Escape from Reality was headed south and to the Bahamas. We ended up passing through Cocoa Beach as the free dock was full and we just decided to head on to Titusville and pick up a mooring ball for a few days before we head into the marina. After passing Cocoa Beach and heading toward Titusville, we get our first glimpse of Cape Canaveral, the Kennedy Space Center and NASA. Super exciting. We picked up our mooring ball and settled journey and headed in to check on Willis who had been here since we were in Marathon. Some land time in Willis exploring Titusville and finding some good Mexican to celebrate our journey so far. And the sunset did not disappoint. We could not stop in Titusville and not visit the Cape Canaveral National Seashore for another beach day. Dee was making sure I was getting plenty of beach time on this trip. Our final experience on the mooring ball in Titusville was riding out one terrible storm. It was vicious and the mooring field was rocking. We watched one sailboat try to pick up a mooring multiple times losing their pole. Finally, he settled for anchoring until it had all passed. Finally, the storm moved past and the water settled back down. After the storm, the sunset was spectacular. Now we're headed into the marina and home to North Carolina with Willis. Be back in a week, Journey. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. We are living in the moment, life full enjoyment. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh shit. Hang this bright. 